Concentrarse en la cuadrada para que lo sienta, tiene que sentirlo acá. We're in the little town of De El Carmen, which is outside of Chincha on the coast of Peru. And what's kind of intriguing about this little town is that the majority of the population are black, as in African. Of course, the question being, why are there Africans? Uh, majority of Africans in this little town is because of they were brought here from West Africa in the 19th century as slaves. From the west of Africa and uh, Most of them have not um, mixed too much with the local indigenous population or with uh, the European people. They seem to still more or less marry with, uh, with each other. And the reason why they were brought to Peru in the 19th century is because the large plantations in this area of course required um, people to work in the vast fields, the huge agricultural system that existed at that time and continues to to this day. And some would think that um, rather than bringing people from all the way from Africa, like countries like Senegal here, that they would simply use the indigenous native population. But that wasn't the case because um, most of the stories we've heard is that uh, the majority of the indigenous population on the coast of Peru was wiped out after the arrival of the uh, colonial Spanish due to introduced, uh, introduced diseases. But in fact, the real story 
is that the Peruvian government, uh, being somewhat enlightened in the late 19th century, made it illegal for native Peruvian indigenous people to become slaves on these plantations. So that's why a population of uh, black people were brought in. And the, uh, the majority of these people are living in the area of uh, Ica, between Ica and Chincha on the coast of Peru. And still to this very day. Now, in most Western countries, depictions of uh, people like this would be regarded as racist. But all of these uh, images and things like that are of the people themselves, so you could hardly call them racist. It's just an interesting little fact about the history of Peru into the modern day. Sunday, so a church service going on. It's one of the reasons why it's quite quiet in this town. <clears throat> and the other reason is because it's October 2020 and this area is just moving out of Corona lockdown now. So, just one of those aspects about Peruvian society that you may not have known about, that there's a, a native African population here, as well as Japanese people and Chinese people, and of course the Europeans, and the majority of the population being indigenous people, of course. So this little town, like every town in Peru and every village, has a central plaza, the Plaza de Armas. And these date back actually to Inca times, because that would be the central meeting place for warriors, or if there was an Inca dignitary coming to make a, a speech to the population, then they would go and do that in the center. And this is the main church of the town. So we can see by the date, the church was founded in 1761. And appears to be well maintained. So just a little travel log video for you. Nothing megalithic in this video, but since the um, 
since the cases of the virus here in Peru are drastically dropping, soon I'll be able to continue doing exploring in Peru, Bolivia, and beyond.